Now we're gonna talk about animations. So if you click somewhere on your clip, like click here at the very beginning of my clip, and I come up here in the top right to where it says animation, I can choose in, out, or combo. In is gonna be how this clip starts. So the animation that I apply is gonna affect the beginning of this clip. Out is gonna be how this clip ends, which will be down here. And combo is gonna do both. It's gonna affect the opening and ending of this clip. And then as we've seen with other effects, you have these all these different presets. So this one's called the rock something rock. I can't read the whole word, but that's gonna, if you hover over it, you can see a preview of what it does. So this one's a fade in, this one's a zoom in, zoom out, different things like that. And because I clicked on it, I've already applied it. And so here's how it looks. If I scroll all the way to the beginning and you can see at this frame, it's got that blurry effect. And then when I hit play, it does that. It like bounces in, it shakes in sort of. And I could change to, let's try it, mini zoom. So mini zoom just does a very small, like 10% zoom or so. And if I wanted to get rid of this after I've applied it, I can just click this one in the top left that says none. And now that, that animation is going to be gone. But let me just apply shake. That's fine. So that's my animation in. Animation out. This is going to affect what happens at the end of this. And just for illustration purposes, I'm going to create a new split right here. So there we go. Now my clip is only three seconds long. It ends right here. So I'm going to add an out animation right there. I'm going to say slide down. Let's see how that looks. Hit play. I'm going to go back a little further. Hit play. So it slides out. It doesn't go completely out. You see how it just goes. If I scrub through, it just goes right there. And then it pops up as soon as the next scene starts. So I don't love that effect. Let me, let me pick a different one. Let's go to animation. Let's go to fade out. So fade out looks like this. It just fades to black. And then as soon as the next scene starts, it pops up. And for combo, to demonstrate combo, let me just create another split somewhere. I'm just gonna split it right there. Okay, and then to this clip that I just isolated, highlighted it in white down here, I'm gonna go to animation, combo, and then I'm gonna pick one like this, doesn't matter. So at the beginning of the clip, it did that like pendulum in, and then at the end of the clip, it did the pendulum out. The last thing to know about is down here where it says duration, this is how quickly that animation is going to happen. So if I come back to my previous clip and I go to my out, I can see that it's a 0.5 second combo or 0.5 second transition out. You see this thing right here? I could click on it and slide it to make it longer. Or I could click, click these numbers and, and toggle up and down through it like that. And then same thing with the beginning. It's going to be this one on the left. And I can change it so that it's longer by clicking up or shorter by clicking down. You can meet me in lesson 11, the next one in the CapCut series by clicking on this video.